Hello and welcome to Analyzing All Sorts with ET Tutor. So today what we're having a look at is a poster that I designed to put up in my local area to try and make sure all the young people in Loughborough know about this channel and hopefully will benefit from watching in terms of how well they do with their GCSEs. So big shout out to all the local schools and all the students that I've worked with. So what we've got here is nice straightforward initial sentence Loughborough based YouTube channel. So saying exactly what English their experience is. We've got the use of the colon there to introduce key information. And then we've got the name itself, English Through Experience. And then I've used a bullet point list because obviously people are busy, they're out shopping, something just needs to catch their eye and needs to communicate key information quickly and in a very digestible way. So bullet points is helpful for that. So we've got the repetition of this G sound, try and make it a little bit more catchy. Great for GCSE English Literature, GCSE English Language and English Language Learners. So we've got a bit of a tongue twister going on there with the repetition of the G, the E and the L. We've also got a list of three which is catchy and memorable. Any more than that, people do tend to start to switch off. And then finally, we've got featuring, so some language that's related to YouTube. It's a word that's often used. So we've got featuring at ET Tutor. So we've got uh, that representation of English through experience in the Twitter handle, the Twitter name, and obviously the logo to go alongside that, like we've used the YouTube logo up here. And then just a little bit more information to try and ensure that people feel confident that this site is going to be reliable. So we've got this list, first class English graduate, licensed to teach, GCSE examiner, DBS checked, Loughborough based tutor. So it's communicating who I am, little bit of information about my qualifications, experience and what it is that I actually do alongside the channel. And finally we've got and, so featuring ET Tutor, description of me and Pip the dog. Little tip if you can throw in something extra of interest to raise curiosity at the end of a text that can be really helpful. We're supposedly a nation of dog lovers so maybe that little mention of Pip the dog might help draw attention as well and we can see that I've gone for an exclamation mark there because it's a fun little addition. Pip the dog and we've gone for the ampersand rather than the word and just because it's a little bit cleaner and crisper for a poster like this. All right then, I hope that's helped and that you're enjoying this analysing all sorts collection. If you haven't checked out the other videos, they're definitely worth a look, especially if you're short on time because some of them are very quick and easy and they're going to help you to recognise language techniques, to analyse punctuation like we've done here, to think about the structure of a text, the order in which you want to relay information, all of which you need to do in those transactional and creative pieces. All right then, thanks for watching and as always, like and subscribe.